guys, so today I wanted to do a room tour for you. Um, so I'm going to be showing um, my room. It does, I do share it with my husband. He has his computer and set up and everything in here as well. Um, and then I have my computer desk, my makeup vanity, and then we just put this recliner in here, which is probably going to be going back to the living room but I couldn't move it by myself. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'm also gonna be showing you um, the drawers to my vanity. And um, I do have at least one junk drawer, so don't judge me on that. But um, most of the top ones are for my makeup and just extra things that I have, supplies. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. So here we have my vanity. This, um, I have a chair that I got at Sam's, which is this one here. Has a back to it, no arms, but I usually sit in this um, when I'm editing. I do want to get a new computer chair that's a little bit more comfortable for sitting there for long periods of time. But I love this chair for doing my makeup. It's super cute and it just adds a little bit of color um, to the room. And then over here we have my vanity. So over here in this corner, I have my flowers. Um, I use this as decoration. I just tied a little glass with some burlap around it. And this is actually, um, these are flowers that were in our wedding. Um, then I have my Sephora um, bronzing face water that I keep over here as well, along with my Max Fix Plus and my foundation that I use almost every day. I keep these items out just so I can grab them very easily. I also have a birthday card from a friend. Then I have a little um, ceramic white and gold glass um, little plate and I use this. I put my bobby pins in here, some earrings, just anything that I need a spot for that's small goes in that. Then here I have my brushes and they are just in a little glass um, vase that I got I believe it for, actually was from Walmart. Then here I have all of my eyeliners, my mascaras, um, my eyelash curler, anything that has to do with my eyes or eyebrows I keep in this. This is actually a Bath and Body Work candle that I cleaned out after it was gone. Then here I have a little container, um, it says happiness is homemade, and I just have all of my eye brushes in here, I also have a pair of tweezers on the side. Then here I have a Smashbox um, palette, I have never used this, I want to actually save it for the bridal makeup that I want to start doing, um, and it has a lot of cheek um, blushes in it and highlights and eyeshadows. But I like the way it looks. It's very interesting, so I just keep that sitting out. Then over here, I have a mirror that I use to put apply my makeup every day, and that is just from Ikea. Then in this corner of my desk, I have a little um, tea cup holder that was actually part of our wedding decorations as well. Um, I grabbed this out of the closet the other day. I needed somewhere to put my jewelry. So I've got some earrings and things in there and then some bracelets around the side and then I just have a bunch of sample um, perfumes there. Then here I have all of my lipsticks. I have, these are the ones that I don't use as much. I have all of those in this container. Then this one here I have more um, items that I have more of like my MAC lipsticks, um, all of my Melt lipsticks. Then here I have all my lip liners. Um, and here I have some more perfume and then my Nivea Men Shea Balm Primer. In this container, it is another Bath & Body Works candle. I have all of my lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. I have some ColourPop lipsticks in here, some Sephora, um, some Ofra. Just all of the ones that I use all of the time are in this. Then over here I have my Artiste brushes. This is another little vase um, container that I believe I picked up at Walmart. Um, then it has some just some stones in there to hold the brushes in place because it is rather long. Um, then I have my deodorant, my brush cleaner for my Artiste brushes, and then the little brush cleansing pad. Then I also have my blow dryer sitting out over here and then my straightener and curling iron which are things that I use all the time um, are just here every day to get ready in the morning along with my hairbrush. Um, my other items I do keep in the drawer. I do have something that I want to hang on the bottom of the desk to attach these to. That way they're not sitting out all the time but for now they're there. Then over here we have my computer. Um, I have 
I try and keep this desk very cleaned off. It doesn't always happen, but I do try. It is another desk from Ikea. Um, both of these, everything you see here, the desk, are from Ikea. Um, and then I have my computer down here on the floor. And I've tried to keep those cords up, but I need to get some more things to help with that. Um, but this is just my computer where I do my editing. It's right next to my vanity. Um, sometimes I do place, there's a hole there because I put a... Um, light there for when I do my videos and then there I also have a little white mirror so in this drawer here I keep all of my base items here I have all of my foundations and products um, a lot of the darker foundations for summer in the back and then I have all of these up here I have some BB creams anything foundation wise goes in this section here then here I have all of my concealers um, I have some color correcting concealers in there and just um, I think that other end's a highlighter, but this is basically for my concealers. Then here I have all of my blushes and highlights. Um, I try and keep them all together. Then in here I have all of my primers, um, all of that. Then here I have all of my bronzers, and then my face powders, and then just some odds and ends. Um, there's a primer that wouldn't fit back here, and I have a blush that doesn't fit, and also another contour stick. So this is all of my face stuff. Um, I did get these little dividers on Amazon. Now I can't think what they are, but I will have them listed down below so you guys can find those. Then my next drawer is all of my eye items. Um, I have some ColourPop um, singles over here, some Urban Decay. Then I have my lashes are back here in the back. I also have a little mascara from Lush in here as well. And this one here I have all of, I have a little single eyeshadows that are just like three little packs that fit on the side. Then here I have all of my eyeliners and I have a few pigments and then my eyebrow gel. Then in this one I have all of my eye primers, um, I have my lash glue, my lash scissors, I have a little eyeliner that doesn't really fit um, in my other container up on top. And then I have this one here, it's also an eyeshadow, um, it has a primer on this end and then the... Um, glitter on the other end and then here I have some eye palettes um, that will fit in the drawer and then here I have my Urban Decay palette. This one here I have all of my eye palettes that don't fit in my other drawers. I do want to get something to display these on top um, but for now they're in there. Then I have my contour palettes in there as well. I have some extra little um, containers as I need those. Um, then back here I have some of the items. I have more lashes. Um, I have con some concealer. Just some of the items that I've purchased for the makeup thing um, business that I want to start doing wedding makeup. I have my brushes in there that I purchased for that and then this um, is a little brush scrubbing pad to clean your brushes with. Then my second to last drawer here is just all of my nail polishes. I have more of those little containers to put those in. Um, some clippers. Then I have some um, cotton swabs. These are great for makeup little mistakes. Some bobby pins. Um, just some extra lotions in the back. And then in the very last drawer is basically my hair and everything drawer. Um, I try and keep this one pretty neat. I just went through it the other day so it looks better than it did. But it's got curling iron in it, some hair products that I use daily, um, all of my Ipsy makeup bags. Anything that's just extra goes in that drawer. But eventually I do hope to get another set of the Alex drawers to put on the other side of my desk. Um, I didn't need them at this time, but I am starting to get more things with doing more videos, so eventually I will be purchasing that, hopefully. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little tour to let you guys see where I film and how I do everything. So please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.